It's my pleasure to present TWRA's new mobile web app today. We've been working with a company that manages our real system, Active Outdoors, for nearly a year now to provide a convenient method for the hunter to report a harvest via a smartphone or tablet device. However, we are proud to reveal today that we are not only able to bring mobile harvest reporting to the table, but license sales and boat renewals as well. We are also providing the ability for the hunter to keep track and view their harvest log information from this mobile platform. It is important to note that these mobile conveniences are in addition to and, not, and do not replace our current methods for license sales, boat renewals, and harvest reporting. So the public can still visit their favorite agent for POS transactions or use their personal computers in the comfort of their own homes for internet transactions if they so choose. Our mobile solution is merely an additional convenient method for the agency to provide these functions to the public. And since it's built in conjunction with the real system, mobile transactions are updated immediately into the real system. Our website homepage will have a link to the new mobile web app starting on Monday, February 18th, just in time for the new license year. On this date, the public can simply go to gotwra.org, that's G-O-T-W-R-A.org for their smartphone, or tablet device, and they will be directly routed to our new mobile web app homepage. All right, as for today and for time considerations and to make the presentation a little bit more palatable, I'll just go through one type of license sales transaction, one harvest report, and then illustrate the harvest log and diary. The boat renewal section is identical to license sales transactions, so for time considerations, I'll leave that out today. All right, hit the last one. All right, just to show you what we're doing, what I've got up on the board is the preview, the view of, of the iPhone I've got in front of me, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the app. Pretend for right now I'm in a, actually I'm in a testing platform, just so you know. So pretend I went to the gotwra.org for demonstration purposes, and you're going to see this um, home page. And just to illustrate what we can do for the, for the individual, is on the bottom of the page, you see the square with the arrow. I'm going to push that, and it brings up this window, and I'm going to click Add to Home Screen in the middle. And what this is going to do for me is I can net label it, and I'll just label it TWRA, TWRA Mobile, and hit Return. And you can see in the top right-hand corner, that's created me a shortcut icon right on my desktop. So I'm going to go back into it, click that icon. It'll take me into the home screen. And what we'll do is we'll go directly into a license sale. So I'm going to click the license sale button. And I'm going to flow through how it would be done. I'm a Tennessee resident, yes. Date of birth. What I'm doing here is I'm going to use information for my test profile, which is uh, John T. Smith for John Test Smith. And this is already his birth date. I'm going to click yes. And all this information I'm putting in here is, is not legitimate, so that's safe to be on video. So we're going to put in the DL form. And then continue to purchase. And right here, I'm going to put in the mobile number so that I can receive a text uh, confirmation of my transaction. Click on the mobile carrier so the system knows which one to send it to. And click on, or enter rather, the email address that I want my confirmation sent to as well. can't type as fast as I can talk. So hit continue. And here, you can scroll through all the different types of privileges that we can uh, accommodate on mobile. The fishing privileges all the way down through hunting privileges. And I'm going to stop right here at the resident sportsman at uh, type 04. Click on that. 
and it gives me a breakdown. Uh, if I can't read that, I can actually turn it sideways now, and it expands it. I can go all the way through that and, and read that. I'm going to cl click it back up and go uh, vertical again. And it asked me if I want to do a donation for the Hunters for Hungry. Oh, I'm going to hit yeah. Click on five dollars. And then I can, act, you have two different options now. You can hit add and finish, go to check out, or I can hit add and go back, and I can go buy another uh, privilege if I, if I so wish. I'm going to click add and finish. So here's my information, 135 for the 04. I donated five for the hungry, hunters for hungry. I'm going to key in the uh, credit card information. Once again, this is no need to write this down because it's not real. I can key in all that pertinent information. And then I can go to complete the transaction. You can see it thinking there at the top. And here's the confirmation page. It has authorization number, all the pertinent information again, the total of my purchase, and all the way down. And this verbiage here is talking about if you want to have a text message or an email or both, it defaults to both to receive the confirmation. I'm going to keep both selected and I'm going to hit submit. And we've seen it testing here quite a bit. And so within about 10 seconds, I should get a text message and an email. So I'm going to hit the home button. And there's, you can see at the top right there, the text message uh, indicator came on. So I've got the text message already. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the little bottom button on the iPhone that takes me to the home page of the iPhone. I'm going to scroll over and you can see that I've got a text message. I'm going to click on that. And this, I've done a lot of these, so there's several text messages in here. But the bottom one gives me, it thanks the individual for the transaction and gives the authorization number as well. And I'm going to click the bottom button on the iPhone to go back to the home page once more. And I'm going to open up my email down here on the bottom. And the top email there with the blue dot shows me that I just got an email from TWRA License Sales. I'm going to click on that. The body of the email reads, thank you for your TWRA purchase. Your authorization number is that. The PDF copy of your license purchase is attached. Now the reason why I went ahead and selected to do a typo 4 is because it illustrates, I'm going to open up the PDF and here's a, a picture, a graphic of the fulfillment right here on your mobile. <coughs> and it looks just like a normal license. And then on the, on the page 2, instead of a kill tag, we do have a harvest log that we spoke before about. And I can save that to the phone if I so wish. So let me go back. I'll go back to the app. And like I said a moment ago, um, boat renewals are identical to license sales. You'll get another email, a text message, and it's, it's just the same thing. And you'll get a confirmation and it states in the body of the email. Um, Thank you for, what, for the purchase and that your boat decals and cards will be mailed to your residents shortly. So next I'm going to go into harvest reporting and same flow. We're going to go in and for the ease of purposes for demonstration today I'm just going to go ahead and select the first option, license big game hunter and then go back down and key in my ID number, my TWRA ID number. and then go continue to harvest. And the same kind of idea. I'm going to go ahead and key in my phone number to get a text message at the confirmation of the harvest report. Very much like the other one. Tried to make that simple for, uh, consistent for simplicity purposes. continue to the harvest. 
I go ahead and select the county and so another roller bar. It asked me if I want to, if I was in a WMA, I'm going to click yes. Then automatically it pops up which WMA were you at and we select that and we've got it to where it's auto filtered so that only the WMAs that are associated with the, cal with the county that you uh, hunted in are going to be listed so it's easy for the customer. Method to take, we'll just hit gun. We'll go to deer. Here is an I understand statement. Please enter the harvest information accurately. Remember button bucks and spikes with antlers less than three inches. Do not count towards your statewide buck bag limit. Please check to confirm that you understand. You have to, you have to check that before you can go forward. So I'm gonna do a mail here. And we're just hit three. And then go to complete the harvest. All the same information is here. This is your confirmation page, and it goes all the way down. Same, same type of situation as earlier. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Submit for both. I want a text message and an email. And I'm going to click the Home button to go back to the home page of the web app. And you can see that the text message is already in. I'm going to hit the bottom button of the uh, iPhone to go back to the home page of the iPhone. You can see that I've got an indicator for both my email and my text message. Text message is the same type of text message and it gives me an information of my authorization number. I'm going to go back down now and look at my email. I'll enter that. The top one with the blue dot is new. It's from TWRA license sales. With your confirmation it says thank you for reporting your harvest. Your authorization number is that. A PDF copy of your harvest confirmation and harvest log is attached. I'm going to click on the PDF attachment and I'm going to rotate this sideways so we can see. And then the confirmation number is right there at top and all the information for the individual is there and the harvest, all the information is there. Along with another copy of a harvest log if they so choose to print that off at home and carry that with them. It's, it's up to them, it's their option. They've got it here on their phone. They can print it off at home if they wanna do that. Either way, I'm gonna go back vertical with the phone. And then I will go back into the app one more time and we'll take a look at a harvest log. So the bottom button here is view harvest log and diary. I'll click on that. Are you a resident? Yes. I'll click on the top. Licensed big game hunter key in my TWRA ID number. And go to view a harvest diary. This is where I tap dance. And there you go. These are several of the ones I've been putting in here and testing. So you can see that it shows multiple, uh, multiple harvests on this harvest log. It will go back three years. So on the top one is the one we just did. And I'm going to click on that so I can get more information about it. So I clicked on the top one. The screen flips. It gives me all the pertinent information that I need to have. And on top of it, I'm going to click on the comment section here. And I can add this is what the diary portion of the harvest log and diary means. I can sit down and talk, or I'm sorry, enter in some pertinent information about I took little Johnny, my son, to his first deer hunt, so forth and so on. So you can click on that, type that in, hit submit, and that saves it. That pretty much goes through the functions of, of the app. I can go to a new harvest or I can just go hit cancel and go back to the home page.